Blanche sent me this Sea Reader Professional to review. So thank you guys. Let's take a look at what you get. This one says it will diagnose engine, transmission, and airbag systems. Features an intuitive interface and supports the latest OBD2 test modes. 1 through 10 graph report, record, and playback crucial data to more efficiently diagnose drivability issues. So, so in other words, it's, it's got more fancy stuff on it than your base model one. Uh, it comes with a USB port cord. It comes with this one that will plug into your car and plug into the unit. It comes with a card reader. I'll show you what that's for. And then this is your rugged unit. Now, if you buy one of these and you can't figure out how to get it working, remember that in the box under here is all you need to know. So there is a manual. There's also a guide to how to update it. So this thing has a little SD card in it over here. And you can download software that you can use to update this so it will always have the most current info for all the most current cars and updated info for any cars where the info wasn't right in the first place. So here's how you update that. Here's what the update software looks like. So you can choose individual cars or you can choose all cars and just download them all. So I decided to just download them all. If you look at the dates, you can see some of the dates are pretty recent. It's December 2017 as I make this video. So that way you'll know you have the most current info. And then it just plugs in the side like that. Now let's plug it into my car and see what it does. And then when you plug it back in, it'll ask you if you want to upgrade and it will count up until everything's been updated. Now to plug it into your car, um, cars are going to have somewhere under the steering wheel a connector for it that's pretty obvious. And you just hook it up to that. And from here, the, the it's not a touch screen, so all the navigation is going to be done via this thing. So you hit diagnose. So you want to have your ignition turned on but not running. So right before you would room it is where you want to be. And then you can read your trouble codes. You can erase codes if you want to clear that, check engine light. Um, so. In my case, if I do read codes, this car doesn't have any, so that means I'm doing well. If Now, some of the other stuff that's pretty cool, like look at this oxygen sensor test. You can see how your oxygen sensors are doing. If your vehicle supports it. This vehicle might be a little too old for this. Got to buy a new car. Now, this freeze frame mode will actually tell you No, if your car has freeze frame data. Unfortunately, mine doesn't have that, but if your car threw a trouble code and then the, maybe the light went off, the freeze frame data will show you all of the details of when what happened when the error happened. But when I do buy a new car, I'm gonna be ready with this thing. So with the car running, look at data stream with the car actually running. Got the load value, the coolant temperature, manifold absolute pressure, airflow rate, OBD2 requirement, oxygen sensor output voltage. So this is great. This will tell you, so you can see I'm revving up the throttle and you can see the number changing as the car is running. You can see the oxygen sensor change. So if you want to diagnose your car while it's running, this thing will give you all of these numbers and you can decide what to do with them. Pretty cool. So the car in question is a Saab from 2005. So you can see a lot of the things my car doesn't have the compatibility with to, to really fully exploit, but you can see it does give me data when the car is running. And if I ever need to help somebody else out or if I ever can afford a new car, then this thing will be even more help. So uh, thanks guys, I love it. And I hope this video helps you sell a few more of these things.